Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Family Travel Guide. Super stoked you are here today. In this episode, we are tackling the giant, crazy city of Tokyo. We've been to Tokyo probably more than 15 times. It's one of our favorite cities in the world, especially with kids. There is so much to do there, and whilst it won't be the, the resort experience you might get going to other tropical countries, there is just so much to do, so much good food to eat. I love that in Tokyo you can just get off the train and wander around and see what you find. Anyway, here's our family travel guide covering the top 10 things to do in Japan uh, with some tips along the way. Hope you enjoy. Hi, we're the Rothwells, a full-time traveling family from Hawaii. We've been to all seven continents, more than 50 countries and hundreds of cities around the globe. We love making travel guides of our favorite places to help other families explore this big, beautiful world. Tokyo, the world's largest city, known for its vibrant culture, technological marvels, and rich history, may not be the first destination that comes to mind when planning a family vacation. However, this dynamic city has a lot to offer for families with children, providing a unique blend of traditional and modern experiences. In this comprehensive guide, I'll take you through the top 10 things to do with kids in Tokyo, making your family trip an unforgettable adventure. First up, Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea. We've been to these parks more than a dozen times and are a must do when visiting Tokyo with kids, or if you have a wife that loves Disney. Located just outside the city on the waterfront, these parks offer a magical experience for children and adults alike. With classic Disney characters, thrilling rides and enchanting parades, the parks provide multiple days of fun and excitement. We recommend at least a day at each park, and if you have the time, an extra day will give you an opportunity to catch any rides you might have missed. We always stay at the Hilton Tokyo Bay. It's just across from the parks and connected by monorail. They have great family rooms at a good price point. If you've only ever been to Disney parks in the US, prepare to have your mind blown, mainly by how passionate the Japanese people are. We've been to every Disney park around the world and Disney Sea is our number one. It is super unique and has something for everyone. Be sure to get your hands on the little alien mochi at either park. For families with animal loving kids, a trip to Ueno Zoo is a fantastic opportunity to witness a wide variety of wildlife. Established in 1882, Ueno Zoo is Japan's oldest zoo and home to over 400 different species. The zoo's star attraction is a giant panda exhibit where visitors can witness these adorable creatures in action. Ueno Park, surrounding the zoo, is also a great spot for a family picnic or a leisurely stroll, adding a touch of nature to your urban adventure. In the spring, this area comes alive with cherry blossoms and is a great time to visit. One of the coolest things you can do in Tokyo for both adults and children is visit one of the Team Lab exhibitions. It is a digital art museum that is fully immersive, and we mean fully. Team Lab Planets is located in Toyosu, and you'll find yourself knee-deep in water or crawling under a canopy of flowers. Team Lab Borderless was originally located in Odaiba, but it closed during COVID and has recently reopened in Azubadai Hills. We haven't visited the new location yet, but we did feel that Borderless was better for kids overall, with a children's playground and lots of art activities inside. Both of them will leave you in awe and make for a great few hours out and about. For a breathtaking panoramic view of Tokyo, check out the Tokyo Sky Tree. This iconic tower stands as the tallest structure in Japan and provides an observation deck with stunning vistas of the city. Kids will enjoy the high speed elevators and the thrilling experience of being on top of the world. Be sure to get those family photos against the backdrop of Tokyo skyline, making great souvenirs to take home. Kidzania is a unique indoor theme park that offers an interactive and educational experience for children. Located in the Lala Port Toyosu shopping complex, Kidzania Tokyo allows kids to role play in various professions from firefighters to chefs and doctors. It's a hands-on learning opportunity that combines fun and education, making it an ideal destination for families seeking both entertainment and enrichment. Check online for the English speaking days. They are only one or two days a week, and unless your child speaks Japanese, you'll want to go on these days. The place also gets really busy with school field trips, so if you can go early in the morning or later in the afternoon, you'll have a lot more fun. 
delve into the heart of Tokyo's cultural richness by exploring Asakusa Shrine and its vibrant surroundings. Asakusa is a district that seamlessly combines tradition and modernity, offering a unique experience for families looking to immerse themselves in Japanese heritage. Start your journey in Asakusa at the iconic Sensoji Temple, the oldest temple in Tokyo, dating back to the 7th century. The entrance to the temple is marked by the imposing Thunder Gate, featuring a massive red lantern. As you walk through Nakimise shopping street leading to the temple, indulge in traditional snacks, souvenirs and cultural trinkets. Inside the temple grounds you'll find Asakusa Shrine, a serene escape from the bustling Nakamise street. The shrine provides a peaceful setting for family members to offer prayers and experience a moment of tranquility. It's a great opportunity for your children to learn more about other cultures and observe people worshipping in ways they may not be used to. We've had many great discussions about the world and our place in it following visiting places like these. Situated at the base of the Tokyo Skytree, the Sumida Aquarium offers a unique underwater experience for families. The aquarium showcases marine life from the Izu Islands, providing an immersive experience through different aquatic environments. Kids will be captivated by the diverse array of sea creatures, including penguins, jellyfish, and colorful coral reefs. With educational exhibits and engaging displays, the Sumida Aquarium combines entertainment with a valuable learning experience. Take a break from the urban hustle and bustle by visiting Shinjuku Goyen National Garden. This spacious park is an oasis of tranquility in the heart of Tokyo and offers a serene escape for families. Kids can explore the various themed gardens, play in open spaces, and even enjoy a picnic amidst the beautiful cherry blossoms during spring. Shinjuku Goyen provides a balance to the city's energy, allowing your family to relax and connect with nature. Introduce your children to Tokyo's rich history at the Edo Tokyo Museum. Located in Ryogoku, this museum showcases the transformation of Tokyo from a small fishing village to the bustling metropolis it is today. Interactive exhibits and life-size replicas bring history to life, making it an engaging experience for kids and adults alike. Explore the exhibits together, immersing yourselves in the fascinating journey of Tokyo's evolution through the centuries. For a taste of Tokyo's trendy and eclectic side, head to Harajuku's Takashita Street. This bustling pedestrian street is lined with quirky shops, colourful boutiques and unique cafes. Kids will love exploring the vibrant fashion scene and indulging in delicious crepes and other Japanese street food. Don't forget to check out the Kawaii Monster Cafe, an eccentric designing experience that will leave a lasting impression on your children's minds. Just around the corner you'll find the Meiji Shrine, dedicated to Emperor Meiji and Empress Shoken. This Shinto shrine is a testament to Japan's imperial history and a place of spiritual significance. As you enter the towering wooden Tori Gate, the noise of the city fades away. The expansive forests of grounds, lush with towering trees and winding paths, create a peaceful ambience, inviting visitors to embark on a contemplative journey. The shrine's main hall, adorned with intricate wooden carvings and traditional Shinto architecture, is a captivating sight and visitors can participate in rituals such as making offerings and offering prayers for good fortune. Again, we don't always encourage our children to take part in these customs, but it can be beneficial for them to observe and ask questions about why some people pray or worship differently to us. As a bonus at number 11, mainly because I don't know if this is a permanent exhibition or will just be a limited season, is the Warner Brothers Studio Tour, The Making of Harry Potter. This place is awesome for Harry Potter fans and can even be interesting for those who aren't. The tour recreates sets and props from the movies and is engaging for visitors, allowing you to be part of the movies themselves. Apparently it is twice the size of the London version, so come prepared for a few hours. We spent four hours here and loved it. Be sure to get some butterbeer for me. Tokyo is a great family destination. It won't be like a week spent at a resort. You'll be walking long days and probably getting frustrated when your kids start to complain about being tired. But just take it easy. Plan one activity a day and give them the rest time before or after. For the families that do embark on a Tokyo adventure, there is so much to be gained. Amazing food, friendly people, and an abundance of things to see and do.
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you got some value out of it, please give us a thumbs up or let us know in the comments below and we'll see you in the next Family Travel Guide.